Hey, it's Frank with 4D Honeybee, and I'm going to inspect my Venus hive here. A uh, quick inspection because the mite treatment has been done. We've added the honey super on. The purpose of this inspection is just to make sure there are bees up in the honey super and that they're storing honey up there. Um, reason why sometimes the queen excluder will prevent bees from coming up. So I just want to make sure there are bees up there. If not, if I don't see any honey production happening, I'll remove the excluder for a few days and that usually gets the bees up there. So I may check the bottom box just to see how the queen is doing. And uh, thanks for joining me at 4D Honeybee. Okay, so this hive has been pretty well behaved. But I'm gonna give him some smoke anyway. That top lid was glued on nicely, so that's always the first good sign that there's production in that hive. And we want to see that there's a lot of bees up in this upper box, and you'll be able to see it as soon as I take this lid off. Okay, decent number, decent number. Again, checking for the queen, even though there's an excluder, you never know. The stories I could tell you about queens and lids and excluders, I probably have already told you. Okay, so we'll get this lid off and just see how they're doing up here. And it is glued on decently. Oh yeah, this is what you want to see. Look at that. Tons of bees. Lots of bees up here. So all I'm going to do is, um, is take this honey box off and get a look into the bottom just to make sure the queen is still in there and laying okay. Give them a bit of smoke. These bees have been great, but these are the ones that did become aggressive with me nearing the end of the season last year. And I find that a lot of good producing hives end up being a little more on the aggressive side. Just want to make sure the excluder stays with the bottom box. So I'm just kind of clearing a, clearing the extruder off the top box. Hopefully it won't come with. Okay, that worked out all right. It's a good 30 pounds of honey in that box already. That is great. Okay, this looks really good. Get a bit of smoke happening. Okay, so all I, I don't really have to see the queen here, but I have to see sign that there's a good right queen. Uh, I didn't see her last time. I was kind of half looking for a half, not worrying about it, but the truth is every beekeeper likes to see the queen. Come on, get out of there. And when we say it doesn't matter, what we're really saying is that we didn't find her. So I'm going to say it in advance. Doesn't matter if I find her or not. Wow. Tons of bees. Look at that. Good number of bees. Brood right on the outside box. Good golly, right on the outside frame. Look at that. That's a lot of bees, man. Now, I had one hive go queenless, and what I did was I grabbed a couple of egg frames from this hive, and they're making a queen over there, and I'm really hoping that that passes on the good genetics from this hive, because this hive is amazing. I got this hive from a nuke, and the queen jumped off and took off, never to be seen again, the day I installed it. They made themselves a new queen, and she has been incredible. And Venus is her name. Some drones on there. Wow. Just all brood. And pollen. Now I'm just checking the for swarm signs as well, so just want to make sure they're not wanting to swarm for any particular reason. They've got a lot of room now. They're set up nicely. But 
we're getting into swarm season now. And you just want to do whatever you can to keep a good producer here. Beautiful frame of brood larva and more brood. I'm telling you, this is stupendous. That's all brood, and they're backfilling it with pollen. Make sure there's no queen cells at the bottom in there or not. That's a drone comb, which is always good. Good to have drones around. Now really the mission has, has turned into, let's try and spot the queen. So we know she's here, she's alive and well. Now it's just for the joy of actually spotting her. And I gotta admit, I got a lot better at spotting the queen last year. I wasn't that good at it before, but I did get a lot better at it. Today, I'm dealing with one eye, so I've had the, um, the attached retina bite me again. So I had an operation about two weeks ago for that. And this is the third hive that I'm inspecting today, so I'm a little fatigued. And I've got to keep that into consideration. Because that's when you make mistakes. This is a perfect frame for the queen to be on. It's wide open, just ready for... So now if, I, if I'm going to find the queen, it's going to be on the next frame or two, I would say. And this frame is also pretty... This queen is also pretty elusive. She has been the one that's been on the inner lid a couple of times. Wouldn't surprise me if she jumps on the side of the box to avoid me. Just to ruin my videos. sign of her yet. With there being wall-to-wall -wall brood on every frame, she could be on any one of the frames. Usually it's not likely that she's on the outside frame, because they're just full of honey. But when you've got the queen in the bottom box, she should be, and this one is, using every single frame to lay brood. As I say that, this frame is full of nectar. Another beautiful frame here. There she is. See here, that's a queen that I marked, my first one. She is on the very last frame on the outside of the frame. How do you like that? See her? Okay, let's get her down in and safe. Okay, so I spotted the queen, hooray! Very healthy box bees that are starting to have interest in me. Okay, so now we'll get the queen excluder back on. Doing a bit of a cleanup here. Just a bit of bird comb on here, not too much. Okay. 
There's a bit of bird foam on the excluder as well, but not enough to worry about. So a very healthy and strong hive. A hive I'll look at again in about a week, just to make sure they're not wanting to swarm. But I can tell you that within a couple, three weeks, they'll have that top box full of honey. And we'll be extracting honey in July. So thanks for joining me. That 40 honeybee.